Prime Minister, the latest stunt to get media attention that somehow things are about to turn around for her on a day where opinion polls couldn't be worse for the Prime Minister. We got a preemptive strike about those opinion polls that the PM is going to go to the one, one of the many parts of Australia that are looking forward to voting against her in September, Western Sydney. In Western Sydney, between eight and ten seats could flip, and as you know, they can't afford to lose one seat anywhere in the country. So the Prime Minister, she's going to be doing something that no other Prime Minister has ever done. She's going to be moving the heart of government to the Rudy Hill RSL. She'll be staying in Western Sydney from Sunday through to Friday of next week. She's going to feel your pain, Western Sydney. She's going to feel your pain, suburban Australia. Now, clearly, <laughs> this will be one of those stunts where she's going to go to the two safe places where all she ever did in the 2010 election, rather than actually bumping into normal people, was to turn up in areas that are tightly and heavily controlled. A place where nobody would dare insult or get up in the Prime Minister's face or criticise her. So you go to schools where kids go nuts, not because they like Julia Gillard, but just because you're famous. They go nuts for all sorts of people. It's just because they're famous and they bring TV cameras with them. But this always gets, gets a couple of hours of coverage as the Prime Minister being mobbed by school kids. Well, what about what their parents think of the Prime Minister and the failure when it comes to the education system that we now need a billion dollars to bring us up to world standards, standards that Peter Garrett and before that Julia Gillard have let us slip on? And the second is that she will turn up to union heavy workplaces, places where clearly all of those people are already in the tank. So if the Prime Minister is going to be serious about her jaunt into Western Sydney, her run into suburban Australia, she needs to leave some of the cameras behind or maybe even take the cameras into the main street because there are plenty of people who want to have a go at the Prime Minister and I wonder how many of these will actually appear anywhere near her radar when she does run around in Western Sydney next week. Take a look. I'm not really a Julie Gillard fan. Time for her to move on. I just treat her like a customer. Other than that, I wouldn't want to talk to her. I'd rather pass on that one because I haven't got anything nice to say. Uh, another idea, Prime Minister, when you're staying at Rudy Hill RSL, which is a fine RSL, spend plenty of time there myself. Why not take some time out from the hotel that you'll be staying there and why not just go downstairs, no cameras, have a schnitzel? with normal people. Find out what their actual issues are, rather than just standing in front of people saying, thanks for your question, now I understand your problems. Why don't you actually sit down, cop it from them, they're not going to be nice to you, but maybe that's the way to jolt this Prime Minister and this government into a better way of understanding that the world is far different than the one that they all view in Canberra. And particularly in places like Western Sydney where it takes too long to get to work, where the kids' standards are going backwards, where small business is struggling, there are real issues that need to be dealt with and dealt with by a Prime Minister who, if she is serious about it, could learn a lot by talking to normal people in suburban Sydney next week.